Hi there. It's a beautiful sunny Thursday and it's also my day off. So there's two things I wanted to do today. I wanted to go for a nice sunshiny walk with Simon, which I have done. And the second thing is that I wanted to make another Friday pattern, pattern company Westcliff dress. And all of you lovelies have been asking me if I wouldn't mind showing you what alterations I do to mine to make it fit me because you were so lovely and so kind with all your lovely comments on my dress. So let's make one. Right, so this is how I make my Friday Pattern Company Westcliff dress fit me. So this is what I do to the pattern pieces to make it fit me. So the sleeve, I just cut a regular medium so the sleeve pc i just cut a regular medium and i cut two as it tells you to and then the neckline binding i again cut two and i cut a medium now the yoke of the top so the front yoke i cut a d cup and i cut it in a small but the front I cut in a D cup, but I cut a medium. And then when I gather between, I just gather more so that the small fits onto the medium. So that I don't have to kind of grade or anything. I just do that gathering because then that small fits my shoulder, but the medium fits my bust because I've got a small shoulder, I've got a bigger bust. So that's how what I do with that bit. Way. Then the back piece, I just cut a regular medium back on the fold. And then the waist, I cut a large. Now, because, again, because it's jersey and I can just pull the top to fit the large skirt, uh, the large shirt just gives me a little bit of extra room on my waist. Um, and I just find that that fits absolutely perfectly. So I'm going to cut one out now. This is finished and I've literally just pinned it at the bottom, which is why the jersey's flipping up. I've just pinned it to how it's going to look. Now, I always find that you kind of have to fiddle with this front bit a bit um, just to make it sit nicely on your body. Um, some people prefer it to kind of go down in between your chesticles. Thanks, Cara. Others, it's kind of better if it goes across you kind of just kind of figure it out for yourself but that's how it's going to fit into the skirt obviously I've still got a hem my sleeves I think that looks looking really nice and as you can see it fits my shoulders really nice but it's got plenty of room across here um so yeah I'm really pleased with that time to put the skirt on
The fabric that I've used for this beautiful Westcliff dress is an inky spot from Carolyn Rose. You can find it by going onto the website. We've still got plenty in stock. Okay, so I make that about an hour and a half of sewing time and I haven't hemmed anything. However, I am done. So I'm really, really pleased with it. I know you can't quite see all the way down to the bottom, but um, you get the general gist. And yeah, and I've done the little tie because I think that helps draw it all together. I always find it takes, you can't, it's almost like needs a, a wash before you decide exactly where it wants to lay nicely. But to be honest, wherever it is, it looks fine. Um, yeah, so there's my Westcliff. Love it. Hiya. Uh, it's Friday morning and I'm about to go to work. Well, I just thought I'd pop on because um, I wanted to show you some happy posts that I got earlier this week, but I'd kind of totally forgotten <laughs> I'd got it um, and I didn't know kind of which video I was going to pop it in, but I really wanted to say thank you. So I wanted to pop it in today. So I've got this little card. It was really lovely. I went to work and this kind of like shiny pink parcel and, and everyone was waiting for me to come in because it was a parcel that was addressed to just for me. And of course, that doesn't tend to happen. All of the parcels that go to work are for Carolyn. So, yeah, they were all like waiting for me to open it. <laughs> so, thank you. And then I got this lovely little spacey celestial fat quarter which is absolutely gorgeous and I'll definitely find something lovely to make with that. In fact, I've got something in mind that I'd quite like to make in that. So watch this space. <laughs> and then in this lovely little pink organza bag with moons and stars on was this. And it says on the box, I don't know whether you can see it, but it says, thanks for being amazing. And then inside is a little ceramic star and it says, you're a star so thank you very much Emma so this is from the lovely Emma and I'll if she if she wants me to I'll link her Instagram down below but I will check with her first that that's okay and um and yeah and we've met up on a couple of sewing socials and we've chatted on Instagram and she was a lucky winner of, of um, some fabric from Carolyn Rose so we've just kind of been chatting and um, I had some double gauze that I wasn't using and she she used it and I was never going to use it it was baby pink so I said I'll send it to you and yeah and she just sent me this thank you so thank you <laughs> that's just so really kind and really lovely so as i said it's friday i'm ready for work i've got a ready to wear dress on today because it's really really hot and i don't know about you but when it's really really hot i have to think about what i'm going to wear and um i'm not really i've got i've got plenty of kind of summer dresses but i've not really found the kind of style of dress me made for summer yet and i really really like this one um so i might try and do a little bit of cloning of it and see if i can copy it because i kind of like the shape of it um and it's it's nice and cool but it all feels kind of covered up for work so yeah so i'm off to work today got a busy day um and then hopefully this evening if i've got a bit of time when i get back i've cut out all my i've cut my pattern for my closet core poof because saturday i am going to be joining in the virtual sewing room to sew up the closet core poof um so i've got some fabrics now um my lovely husband simon's decided that he would like a poof for his kind of study um and he's got um a lovely leather chair which is this this color and i have got literally just enough to do the bottom of the poof in that which i think will look really good and it'll be nice and hard wearing because we've got wooden floors downstairs so i'm going to cut that out for the bottom and then i've got a couple of canvas weights which is the good weight for and i've got this little doggy one it's just a scrap left over and then I've got this Highland Koo one and I thought they might go quite nicely together and then I've got this kind of torpy one and then I've got just a very small piece of this one so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it yet but I'm going to cut out the pieces 
and um and yeah and see what happens i i have got a couple of, i am experimenting i might put a pop of green in there somewhere just to kind of because we've got green in the other room don't know not quite sure yet but um that's my plan for this evening is to cut those out um and then hopefully if i get some time over the weekend i can hem up my westcliff dress that i made yesterday um and take some pictures and get that and an outing i'm thinking i um once i hem it i may give it a wash before i wear it because the other one that i made um i'm i'm enjoying the fit much better after i've washed it i think it's one of those ones that just needs to find its own own place because it's a wrap and you kind of like pin it in and then you sew it in and then you put the skirt skirt in it needs a little while to kind of find its own space so yeah so that's me so i'm off to work have a lovely day see you in a bit good morning so it's saturday morning now and it's definitely not as sunny as it <laughs> as it was yesterday but you know so i am wearing a self-drafted little t-shirt dress today that i got with my fabric from beyond the pink door um and i just love this because i am sewing all day today so it's nice and easy breezy nice and comfortable but yeah so that's what i'm wearing today now after having a little chat with simon last night We've changed some of the panels and some of the fabrics for the poof. Um, so I have cut them out all this, ready this morning. So I'm still sticking with that one for the bottom because I think that that is the best idea for the bottom of the poof. Um, I've got some of this continuous zipper, which I think will go really nicely. And I've gone for a little starry zipper pull. Um, and then I've gone for denim. So I've gone for the starry denim um, and then interwoven with the doggy panels there for the sides and then the same for the tops, but a few different denim pieces. So, yeah. So I'm about to join the virtual sewing room. I'm going to overlock all of these pieces first if I've got enough time. Um, and then I'm going to join the virtual sewing room and I'm going to sew my poof. If I manage to get some footage today, it will be a small miracle. I'm not quite sure how I will do that, but you know, I'll come back and tell you how I got on. And then I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. well early evening and we're just I've just got changed I'm in a ready to wear dress which I absolutely love it's a button down dress and I'd really like to copy this um to kind of clone it and make with the what Vicky made fabric because I think that that would be a really nice dress but yeah we're just going off down the pub for a little cheeky Saturday drink with some friends and yeah, I've had a really lovely day. So um, I've made the closet core poof at the virtual sewing room and I'll pop some, uh, hopefully you will have seen some pictures of me making it today and then my lovely husband enjoying it this afternoon. So putting his feet up. It was actually a nice, easy make. I'll definitely be making another one. I can see it being great for kind of stashing scrap fabrics. And, uh, and yeah, so it's been a lovely day. See you later. 
Good morning. It's Sunday morning and I'm fresh out of the shower, so sorry for my slightly wet and bedraggled hair. <laughs> but you know, it's Sunday morning. So I've got my Lyra, Tilling the Buttons, Lyra dress on today. Step back for you so you can have a, a little look. So yeah, I like this one. It's nice. It kind of feels like a an easy, easy wear. I am still umming and ahhing on whether I like the length that I've got or whether I'd like a longer length um, and also whether I think waist ties would be a good idea for this one. But yeah, it's nice. And this was a cheap and chip, ch cheap as chips pound fabrics fabric. So I would like to have another go in perhaps in a, in a different fabric, but yeah, well, we will see. So today is Sunday, so we've got the family coming over. Simon's going to cook us a lovely roast dinner. Um, I've already done a few sewing jobs this morning. I have hemmed up my Solvi dress, so I'm all set for the hashtag Sew 7 Together release, which will be fantastic. And I'm meeting up with the lovely Judy and the lovely Mandy. I'm so excited about this um, next weekend. So hopefully we'll be able to get together and take some pictures. So that's all finished. Um, all my so fruities are finished and I've just been taking some pictures this morning. Don't forget if you are taking part in so fruity, don't forget to donate as well. Um, it would I know Yvette would be chuffed a bit if everybody that um, did kind of partake in So Fruity, would just donate just a pound for an entry. Um, she'd really appreciate that. So don't forget, I managed to do that at the weekend as well. Um, tick that off my list. Um, what else was I going to... Oh, I've also been working on my Recreate the Look this morning. Um, yeah, it's not it's not come out exactly the image in my head and I'm I'm beating myself up about it because it's not coming out exactly as I thought. But actually... I'm really, I've really enjoyed making it and I've learned so much from making it. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you. Yeah, so I hope you kind of enjoyed this, this weekend's vlog and this kind of style of vlog. I've just kind of really brought you along on my weekend, let you know what I've been getting up to. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, don't forget to tune in on Wednesday to hear all about Children's Week in my Sewing Bee synopsis. And don't forget to sparkle. So I'll see you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>